Most of town is still these dirt roads. <laughs> What style is that? Rainbow Nation style. Okay, I've been in Sutherland for like two and a half weeks now. And like I said, I want to go to small towns and do a series of vlogs in small towns. So, I also just want to show you the town, the streets, what's happening, the little shops. The bars and all that, so I think in this vlog I'm just going to show you the streets of the town and a couple of shops and a couple of places you can come and visit if you ever come to Sutherland because it's a pretty town to come and visit. Okay, so let's do that. <laughs> Check this out, this is the high school in Sutherland, this small bowling, I don't know if it's still open but uh, there can't be too many people in the school I'm sure. It's a beautiful old building though, looks like sandstone. Look at the garden, there's nothing there. Jeepers. I wonder if these kids are naughty at all. Looks boarded up though. And here, right next to the high school building, is this old building, also built from the same type of stone. It's so sad to see it's falling apart. It's really beautiful buildings. I'd love to go and take a closer look. I'm not that much into building, but... Uh, oh, it says HSS 100 years young. So in 2008, this building was 100 years old. It's actually quite a large school, but it seems derelict and fallen apart, like it's been falling apart for a while, so I'm assuming it's not in use. I, I would love to go and check out the buildings, but uh, there are padlocks and all the gates, and I'm afraid a weirdo like me in a small town of South Africa might get arrested and tortured, but maybe I'll get some courage and sneak in here. We can go and check out the, these wonderful old buildings mixed with the newer buildings. Most of town is still these dirt roads. That's probably why there's so much dust everywhere. I actually prefer the dirt roads. It's kind of comforting, it's kind of more natural and earthy. Despite the dust, I'm not so fond of tar roads. The earth can breathe. Uh, and there's always in these small towns there's kids playing on their bicycles in the roads everywhere. I'm still playing man. No playstations and cell phone games, nothing wrong with that, but it's nice to see kids still playing in the streets. Feeling the sun on their skin. Possibly getting a bit hurt every now and then and moving on and learning from that. I dig it. Every now and then you get a real pretty house with lots of flowers and plants. Here's something for all the car freaks out there, which I'm not really, but uh, I'm here at this guest house place with all these old cars and a garage, I think, and I'm going to have an interview of one of the people that run it, or one of the owners. I'm going to put that on separately on my YouTube channel, but uh, I'm also going to take a lot of footage for this Sutherland vlog about this place. So check out all these cars and stuff. It's quite amazing. There's loads of cars, and there's much more. You 
going to show you now. I'm walking through all these old cars and there's so many all shapes and sizes and ages. Just check this out, it's quite unbelievable. Yeah, suddenly. There's cars everywhere, different types of conditions. So if you want to come check out old cars, come to the V8 guest house and garage whatever workshop on Saturday. So this is the sexiest car in the car. Check this out. Lots of work that went in here. Never seen a car like this in my life. Look at those wings. Beautiful. So busy building it. And then there's all these cars, like a hot rod, all restored. I don't even want to know how much it's worth all these cars. Look at this engine. Yeah. Steam. Yeah, we need the cars. This is the place to come. Look at this. Let's look. Let's look. Get in here and drive. I'm not really even a car person, but Jesus, this excites me. to take this ground and scrape a, um, a, I can't even call it an oval track because it's not, it's nothing professional, it's originally just for Johan, for the guys, for fun. He's got a Datsun Laurel amongst a few other cars, but the Datsun Laurel is the one that's um, pulled through, she's, she, she's, she's very strong, she's doing well. Um, we take guests and we let them have that experience, they can bribe there for the day. Here we have the Sutherland Mall, which is obviously tongue in a cheek. So we got Boersiep, all these products. Boersiep is like traditional soap. I am an Afrikaner, by the way, so I don't identify with everything in my culture, but uh, I identify staying clean. And Boersiep is Afrikaner soap to stay clean with. Okay, uh, so let's we'll take a walk through here. We also have jewelry, Thaisgebak. Thaisgebak just means homemade stuff. Uh, Biscuit, obviously also very Afrikaner. Biscuit is uh, the things, <laughs> the dried biscuits. What do you call biscuit in English again, man? Ras. Okay, in a Boer oorlog, I ate a lot of ras. Okay, so let's just check through this. This is the mall, the version of the mall. What is it? What is it there? So, uh, please sanitize your hands. All kinds of brick and brack and stuff. So it's like a second hand shop plus brick and brack plus coffee, all kinds of stuff. So in small towns, you just have to do whatever you can to survive, even jewelry. Oh, the background is me competing with the shop owner on his phone. 
so also it's like small stuff like this like the old tannies will make probably handmade stuff t-shirts all kinds of things uh, toys what else more toys dried fruit obviously uh, toys and then a unicorn no, it's not a unicorn, it's just a horse of pink mane. Uh, then you have the second hand area. Okay, let's see what this copper thing costs. It looks old. And it's between all this other brick and brack. And I'm not sure what this will cost in a place like Cape Town. It's a bit dented. So it's 250 bucks. It's actually not that cheap. I don't know how old this is. So if you're in the city, what will this cost in a place like Cape Town? Or maybe if somebody from overseas might stumble on this, what will this cost in a city in Europe or in America? 250 bucks. Hmm. Shall I buy it? What will I do with it? Can I resell it in Cape Town? And the second I close, oh shit, I must come here. I need clothes. Uh, mostly ladies' clothes. So it's like brick and brick, all kinds of stuff. And this is the mall. As good as it's gonna get, more wise in Sutherland. More brick and brick. And if you're into old James Bond movie, you can get the man with the golden gun here for 10 rand, 10 bucks. That's like less than a dollar. Just so that you know, Sutherland does have a butchery. And they are pretty well known in these parts for the, the sheep or the lamb meat. So check it out. There is a grocery store or two where you can get basically everything you need. In like in all cities and towns, there's a lot of hanging out in the streets, especially in Africa. Just wait for the slow car to come past. There's also some kind of police present here stopping cars. I don't know why. Maybe an alien escaped. I'm not sure. And these guys are probably just looking for work because there's not a lot of money in work in these small towns. It's hanging around here. Are you guys looking for work? Are you looking for work? Yeah, they're waiting around here for work. Work is scarce, eh? Money is scarce. And otherwise, there's a couple of liquor stores, like three at least. And you'll get a lot of hanging around in front of liquor stores as well. So it's either work, hanging around for work, or just hanging around in general in the streets. Or hanging around waiting for a dop. This is like the big activities in town. Oh, oh, oh. Like it, like it. In this regard, I have to say, I'm just showing you stuff. I, I get people coming to me with all kinds of complaints and political issues. I don't do that. I don't take sides. Morning, morning. Hi. I don't do politics. I don't take sides. I don't do religion. I just show you the world as it is. So don't come to me on this vlogs of your religion or your belief systems or your politics or your complaints it's not gonna fly man that's not what i do